because like I feel that the younger generation actually haven't known the kind of problems that we have uh, growing up in uh, Ceylon. And I mentioned it in a book, we are a very unique generation. Uh, we were born in an independent uh, Ceylon, but uh, became adults in a <laughs> republic of Sri Lanka. And things changed, particularly in the 70s, and uh, you know, things were difficult. We had food rationing, all sorts of things. We had the uh, JVP and all that. So I, I won't go into it because a lot of it is uh, uh, described in the book. I talk about my uh, time and some promises as well, some of the, uh, you know, probably not so uh, lasting incidents and having to go forward to the war in Armageddon, etc., etc. So I won't talk too much about religion. But that's the reason I want to share really for the, my children, because they have been monocordial, really, uh, born in England, uh, raised here in Sri Lanka, and uh, young children, but grew up mainly in Australia, and really, they, you know, really don't know the kind of struggles that we had to go through to get where we are. So I didn't want them to forget uh, who we are and, and where we come from. So that's the reason I wrote the book. I felt that everybody arrived. I made it in a way that other people also can benefit. Maybe if young people take one or two lessons from the book, that is great way they understand the kind of lessons I've learned in leading five or six companies across the globe, uh, working in UK, Middle East, uh, Africa, uh, here in Asia, and then Australia. So that's my story, and, and uh, hopefully you will read and enjoy. Please give me your feedback, and happy to meet you. Yeah, yeah.